All right, so today we're focusing on solving one-step equations. Uh, so solving implies that we need to find out what something is. Uh, in this case, in math, usually it's a variable. And the variable, clichely, is x. So in this case, it is x. But sometimes the variable can be y or z or q, whatever it may be. In this case, it's x. So we need to find the value of x that makes this equation true, or in math, and, and that's what math language, or the sentence. What makes the sentence true? So we need to find that number. So negative 32 equals something plus negative 20. We need to find what that missing number is. And the way that we do that is to try to isolate that variable, meaning we need to get that letter by itself. And we do that by doing what we call inverse operations, or we do the opposite of what some of the numbers are so that we can move them to the other side of the equal sign. So I see this plus a negative 20 on the side with x. So we need to get x by itself, so we need to move that plus a negative 20. The way that we do that is instead of having minus 20, we do the opposite, so we're going to add 20. So if I add 20 to one side, in order to keep the equation balanced, I have to do it to the other side. So now, looking at the right-hand side, negative 20 plus 20 cancels out, and that will equal 0. So the only thing I have left on that right side is x. Now let's take a look on the left side, where it says negative 32 plus 20. There's a little jingle that I like to sing uh, to help me remember how to uh, add and subtract with... Uh, negatives and positives, so it's same sign, add and keep, different sign, subtract. So, negative 32 and positive 20 have different signs, so I need to subtract the two numbers. So when I subtract the two numbers, 32 minus 20 equals 12, and then the last part of that jingle is, keep the sign of the bigger number, then you'll be exact. So the sign of the bigger number in this case is 32, and since 32 is negative, my answer is going to be negative 12. So that's my answer. Now, let's go ahead and plug that back in to see if that makes sense. So if I put negative 32 equals negative 12 plus negative 20. So negative 32 equals negative 12 plus negative 20. Again, we'll sing that song. Same sign, add and keep. So negative 12 and negative 20 do have the same signs, so we add them together and keep the sign. So 20 plus 12 does equal 32, and we keep the sign, negative 32. So the sentence, or the equation, does make sense. So my answer, again, for x is negative 12.